The region itself is becoming a much stronger power in the European Union. More economic activity takes place in this region now than it did 10 years ago, and its share of the EU economy is growing and growing. In the next 20 years, this region is going to emerge as one of the most powerful economic regions in Europe itself, and it should use that power in order to demonstrate to Brussels, in partnership with other countries in the EU, that many of the heavy-handed, over-regulated uh, approaches that we've seen coming out from Brussels lately, they are not fit for purpose in countries in the CE, which are now mid-sized economies. They need to be open to the world. They need to access technologies, data, business services coming from outside of Europe. But they also need to have access to markets for the services and the goods that it's going to sell. So digital protectionism is not going to be the way forward. And on, on regulation itself, this is also regions where they have an experience of a lot of change. In the past 20 years, they've gone through a lot of structural change in the economy, knocking off companies and economic practices that used to exist in the past in order to build up capacities for new companies, for new entrepreneurship, which is much more market economy oriented. And that experience itself, I think, is tremendously important now for Europe because we are, as a continent, beginning to prefer stagnation rather than innovation. We are being outpaced by other regions in the world when it comes to leading with technology. And I think the CE regions demonstrate that, well, if that complacent approach is what we're going to choose, we're going to see more stagnation. But you can choose a different path if you want to. You can choose dynamism too.